Since I had no mystery room on floor 9, make use of getting a bonus. Fortune teller, be careful. This is actually one of the useful ones, but it can also cause trouble. Good luck is a plus 3. If you get great luck, that's plus 10. It's basically three of those surrounding things alone, the set of seven enemies, you know. But on the first one, it actually counts as four. There's actually a mathematical reason for that. As usual, Gen C O. Just a little bit more SP. And I need to restock exits. But yeah, if that's any indication, I got an overstock of these things. So, made use of a bonus. Of course, I don't need that. Save, and otherwise just go from there. Of course, when you get to floor 20, then you basically repeat the same process as you did in floor 10. Floor 9, and there's a mystery room. Whenever that kind of situation happens, you won't be able to get bonuses. Why? A mystery room will simply never appear when you get to the... later on. So, in that case, well... Of course, this is an item I'm trying to level up, if that universal orb is any indication, but... Yep, sometimes that can happen. And what do you know? I get another bonus. In an interesting way, but still, you'll be picking up levels anyway. Extra levels along the way. So, do make use of it whenever you can. Yeah, I know, max level. <clears throat> hmm. That looks appetizing. You can even get X. Really convenient. Uh, let's see, I need a weakling that I want to level up. I need to go check this item out. Well, what do you know? Yeah, I just stole from the front. But that high level thief does have its advantage. Alright. And since I've got X bonuses, might as well drag out some weaklings. Oh yeah, where are you? Oh, how oh, I love that hit stat. When? When? That's it. That thing is blind. Interesting way to get a bonus, but hey, it works. Do make use of every opportunity you can. And like before, like you did with floor 10, get the item general, but do not clear the floor. 
clone may be very dangerous because you're gonna get enemies versions of yourself. But hey, as long as you don't use Anturin, you're fine. Okay, I got what I wanted. Yep. Now it's 30% from all those item generals alone. So it's actually 1.3x for the power. As usual, save. I usually prefer to save to the top file. Unlike before, get just the item general. You could clear the floor, but if you're probably a witness from that previous case, it's not worth the time and effort. You can still, however, get extra enemies into the area of effect if you want, which is usually what I end up doing anyway. And run for the gate. This thing. So, do I get the 50%? No, I don't. Yep, here I go again. Got the 50. And not the 10. Got the 50. And I get the 10 as well. How convenient. Treasures. And like before, pass that exact same bill as you did before. Yep, one-sided, again.
Okay, well, um, need to replace this. There's another hand. Oh, that one was cleared. Since I had a mystery room on floor 9 this time, don't bother going for a bonus with repeated quit and reload, because you'll never get a mystery room. That's the important thing about floor 9. So, I guess I'm rushing to floor 30 in the usual fashion. When you get a fortune teller, when you're going through the item otherwise, do be careful. Because if you get something like that, guess what's gonna happen? That's actually minus 10. Yep, quit and reload. It's not very common that I get that, but still, it does happen. But look how fast I go through floors. Because after all, if I get that fortune teller again on like floor 29, for example, and it gives bad luck or horrible luck, yep, all that progress ends up getting lost. So that's why I urge you to actually just rush to the gate instead of dealing with the enemies. The only time you ever want to deal with the enemies is if there's a gate guard. The other exception, of course, is floor 30, but yeah, 30 means you got an item key. You can get other enemies, but remember, whatever you do, do not clear the floor. Just remember, Gency out. However, there is something you should note. Remember the pop limit increasing? Hmm? Don't forget to transfer another master in, or your item will not be perfected. In fact, do it right now. Find that one item called Masters, and just transfer any one of them over. Makes no difference which one, as long as, it, as long as it's there. Remember, it's quantity, not the quality. One of the few cases where quantity is better than quality, but hey. I can go back into there. And like before, defeat the Adam King again and run for the gate because you'll need another item assembly chicken. 
Okay, so I got the 50. Do I get the 10? Of course not. Got the 50. And no 10. Here's a case where I've got a problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That gate is really far away. There is still a way of getting over there, however. In this case... Okay. Do not throw yet. Instead... And just so you know, yes, that is a tower. And now, it's easily in range. Otherwise, he would still have been one short. And it figures it missed the 50. Got the 50. And I finally get the 10. So, of course, getting all these annoying chests. Yeah, I don't need that quit option anymore. It's the only piece of junk I got. The good news is, this is the very last of those item assembly chicken. The neutral news is, well, same bill, again. Go ahead and have that junk. So one-sided. So, that's the last of the item assembly chickens. As usual, escape from the item world. But notice the pop went up again. Yep, transfer the last of those masters in. See how much convenient this is, just naming these items? It actually speeds it up in the long run. Now it's full. You won't have to bother transferring any more masters over to this. So, that can go into the warehouse. And that can otherwise be continued for leveling up.